9876545321 and we have launch of the Mir 18 mission. Systems are looking good as the uh, Mir-18 crew begins its initial climb to orbit. The first stage of the Soyuz rocket ascent sequence lasts for about two minutes of the flight. Up until that point, the four strap-on boosters provide the extra thrust the rocket needs to gain enough altitude and speed to reach the lower limits of the dense atmosphere. At the two-minute mark, the strap-ons will fall away and return to Earth over Siberia. Unlike the shuttle's solid rocket boosters, these are not used again. Their descent and uh, impact render them uh, pretty much unreusable. The booster velocity is now about 500 meters per second, which translates into more than about 1,100 miles per hour. We are continuing to receive some views from on board the uh, Soyuz module. This is astronaut, cosmonaut Norm Thagard that is making his first ride into space. All systems on board the rocket are continuing to go very smoothly. We can turn, we can connect up and turn on ventilation. Okay. Action. Do you mind if I get in the commander's seat? No. Nope. I'll let it probably see you better from that seat over there. We need about uh, three minutes of astro culture, and then we can come back here. Okay, Story, we'll pause this and uh, switch over. Thank you. Let's pull your cuff. That's Leonard again. 40 feet or so away. That is the uh, docking port that the Space Shuttle Atlantis will use later this year to uh, dock with the Mir Space Station.